Hello everybody. So I haven't done a vlog style video in a while. I haven't really done a lot of them anyways, but yeah, so today I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I called off work and I did so because I was not in a good headspace this morning. Um, I know I've mentioned it on my channel a few times that I suffer with depression and anxiety and I do take medication for sorry there's a hair on my lips I do take medication for those two things um, but yeah sometimes there's there's still days that are a lot more challenging than others and luckily my boss is very understanding and very supportive and you know I just when I woke up this morning well first of all last night I was not feeling good at all. Um, yesterday at work I wasn't feeling good at all either. So I'm just laying there last night and I'm thinking, oh my god, like, how am I gonna go to work tomorrow? I just feel horrible and I don't like going to work like that. I like to feel at least somewhat okay when I go to work because I do have to be like, Okay, it's not not like I have to be. I, I've told you guys before, but I'm a vet tech. So if there's like, if it's a busy day and there's serious things going on and emergencies and things like that, like for me to be unhappy and just not feeling good at all doesn't help the situation for anybody really. And although I do hide those negative feelings really well at work, like no one would be able to guess that I was depressed or feeling anxious or something. Like, literally no one. I'm the most positive person at work, but internally I'm suffering and that's when it becomes very hard for me to be at work and I just start getting really negative and just not wanting to be there. So yeah, I've kind of been going through that lately. You know, sometimes I wonder if I need a new career, like if I need to do something else with my life besides being a vet tech. Um... But just the thought of going back to school freaks me out, even though it's still possible, obviously it's always possible to go back to school. I did, I do have one year of college credits, so one more year and I could get my associate's degree at least, but I don't know. I have a baby now, not saying that's an excuse to not go back to school, because I know so many moms do it, and I'm so like proud of all moms that do that. Because I know it's hard, especially working full time. If you work full time, go to school, and your mom, how like, how do you do it? Because I feel like I couldn't do it with my. I need to be in a better headspace to be able to do those things. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So I have been looking into seeing some therapists, and I plan to see one soon. With my insurance, it's hard to find therapists, you know, and especially like seeing them as soon as possible because a lot of them have waiting lists. So yeah, anyway, I'm just kind of going on a rant tangent right now, um, but I felt like I needed to say these things and I needed to talk about what I'm feeling because I don't really talk to like anyone about how I feel besides my fiance. He's the closest person to me. I'm not really close with my mom. My dad I don't really talk to. It's a long story. You know, but yeah, I'm not close with anybody. Like my friends, my two best friends have moved. Both of them have moved um, out of state recently. Well, it's been a few years since one of my best friends moved. Um, but then my other best friend, she just moved to California with her boyfriend. So yeah, I don't get to see her that much, but um, I don't really talk to anyone about how I feel, like how I'm feeling inside. And it's nothing against any of my friends or anybody that I know. It's really just me and a personal thing. I've always been that way. I don't really like talking about how I feel. It makes me uncomfortable and I feel weird and just, I don't know. But yeah, for some reason, talking to a camera helps. So I'm sorry if this is like really negative and annoying. Um, maybe skip this vlog. If you don't like hearing about these kinds of things, because I know it, it's kind of depressing what I'm talking about right now. So yeah, if you don't like hearing about those kinds of things, then maybe skip this one because this isn't really going to be super book related. Although I do plan to talk about some books in this vlog, like the one I'm reading right now. 
My house is a mess. I plan to clean it after I'm filming this, but yeah. It is called The Arrangement by Robin Harding. I started this last night and I'm already on page one something. 140. I'm on page 140. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Uh oh. He's mad. You crabby boy. You crabby boy. <laughs> He's almost one years old. I can't believe it. It's pretty crazy. He turns one on May 7th, so him doing this, what he's doing right now, like trying to stand up like that, is kind of scaring me because I know he's going to start walking soon. This is new, like he never used to do this. But sooner or later, he's going to be able to pull himself up on that little, the siding and stand, and it's going to be scary. But anyways, I am really enjoying this book so far. If you don't know what this is about, it's basically about, um... This girl who can't afford school and her rent and her tuition and things like that. So one of her friends is like a sugar baby and her friend tells her about this lifestyle and she's like, no, I'll never do that. Like, that's not for me. That's, that's not who I am. And then she eventually says, you know what, let me just try and see how it goes. And it's a thriller. Nothing super crazy has happened yet, but so far I really am enjoying it. Um, each chapter makes me want to keep wanting to know what's happening next and I'm liking it so far. It's be I've never read a thriller about like a sugar daddy sugar baby relationship. I don't even know if there is one out there, but this one, this is I think that's a really good idea because it's different, you know. It's not something that typically thrillers talk about, I guess. So yeah, I'm excited to finish this. If I had free time all day, I'd probably finish this whole thing in one sitting. But this little guy keeps me real busy. So yeah, I did not go to work today. I was feeling like absolute shit. I didn't want to even get ready and get dressed. But once I do get ready, like put some makeup on and like make my hair somewhat decent, I do feel better. I feel like your appearance, um, what's the word? Your appearance kind of, I can't think of, you guys know what I'm trying to say. When you look good, you feel good. That's what, kind of what I'm trying to say. Even though I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I kind of look a little crazy right now, but you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I, first of all, I just want to show you guys something real quick. I have a lot of bruises on my legs. Hey, I'm not wearing any pants, so I don't want to like show too much, but I was looking down and I see all these bruises and that is from being at work, like doing a vet tech, you know, you're on the floor crawling around with big dogs and just, you know, doing all kinds, it's a very physical job, so yeah, I have bruises all over my legs and it's, it's ugly, <laughs> but yeah, also, I just discovered this girl's channel, here, let me show you, um, Her name is Christina Randall. She's super pretty. She's really beautiful. And she's got some really entertaining story times. Um, she's been to prison and she talks a lot about that on her channel and what it was like and, you know, what it did for her and how her life has turned around since going to prison. She, she went many, many years ago. She's definitely, you know, like, she's very inspiring. She definitely inspired me to start wanting to eat better. Um, She's vegan, and she's super healthy, super fit. Her body is gorgeous and amazing. And lately I've just been feeling like shit. Um, like, yeah, I know I keep saying that, but I also want to start losing weight. That's another big thing. I have gained a lot of weight. I hate talking about this because I'm, like, ashamed of it. But you know what? This camera... Talking to this camera right now, like, I know I can't see anyone that's watching these videos and it's kind of like therapy for me. So I'm just gonna say, literally, it's like word vomit. It's just coming out and I'm just gonna keep talking about it and go with going with it because I know somebody somewhere out there is going to understand what I'm feeling. But yeah, I have gained a lot of weight since pretty much high school and Maybe one day I'll show you guys what I used to look like in high school because I was so, almost 
I'm trying not to swear. I was so skinny in high school and you know, before I had my son, I was gaining weight. And then of course, after I had him, I gained more weight. So I'm trying to slowly lose weight. I haven't gone to the gym yet. I'm just trying to cut back on sweets a little bit because if you don't know, I love sweets. I It's so hard for me to turn down sweets and you know, my fiance is the same way and then we overindulge and we eat a lot of sweets. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to cut back on that and she, what I, what I was getting at is this woman, her name, her channel name is Christina Randall. You guys should look her up. Um, she's very inspiring. She's so positive and she's been through so much. So when I'm sitting here talking about me being depressed and calling off work, I kind of feel like my problems are so minute to what she has been through. And it's not trying to like give pity on her, but I'm just saying she's such a strong and amazing woman and she's turned her life around so much. So she, yeah, she has been really inspiring me to eat better and, you know, hopefully I can get on her level one day and lose some weight. Be, I would love to be vegan one day. I don't really eat that much meat anyway. It's just dairy that kind of screws around with me. I love dairy. I love cheese, you know, so maybe one day I can just be vegan. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm rambling. I'm talking about random stuff. <sighs> So yeah, I kind of want to show you guys my view from my apartment because it's kind of nice. I have that little pond right there that I like to look at and read out on my balcony sometimes, but yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the fake swans in the pond, but they have those. Uh, I can't, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have those because we used to have a lot of geese coming around here and ducks too and they were like overpopulating the area i guess i loved seeing it i had no problem seeing all those geese and they were loud they'd be quacking and you know screaming in the middle of the night and you can hear them like jumping on the water i love that but you know i guess they have to keep it regulated somehow and then they put those fake swans on the pond and yeah so no more geese. There's some occasionally, but there used to be like probably eight geese on that lake, and, or not the lake, the pond, whatever it is. And like ducks, and you'd see the little ducklings, and you'd see the baby geese too, but I haven't really seen that many of them lately. Um, so yeah. Okay, one more thing, and I'm going to cut this clip because I'm just talking about such random stuff. So, I dyed my hair this purpley color whatever color that is now like maybe a few months ago and I was blonde before this and now my natural hair color is growing in it's like that ashy light brown my natural hair color is coming in and I hate my hair right now like I don't like the color of it I don't like how it is I miss being blonde and I want to go back to blonde what do you guys think should I go back blonde should I stay this color and just dye my roots I don't know but I want to be blonde again. Or like light brown with blonde highlights. Alright, anyways. I'm going to go. Me and my son are probably going to sit on the porch. And just look at the little pond. And I'll probably read more of the arrangement by Robin Harding. I am loving it so far. And I'll show you the other book that I started. I barely got into this one. But it's called I Invited Her In by Adele Parks. I'm like barely made a dent in it but um yeah this one I don't really know too much of what it's about yet I haven't read the back because I'm kind of saving it to see what happens but I remember seeing some pretty good reviews about it so I picked it up and so far I'm like only in like two chapters but you know it's not grabbing my attention uh, that much yet so you know, I kind of put it to the wayside and picked up the arrangement because I've been really, really wanting to read it. And yeah, that one's kind of stealing the show right now. So I will eventually get to I Invited Her In by Adele Parks. Um, I'm just kind of taking a break from it. So yeah, I am going to go about my day and I will check in with you guys maybe a little bit later. 
Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, I'm not really gonna be doing much today. I'm probably, I, I need to clean up. That's number one. I need to clean up. You guys don't wanna see what this place looks like because it is a mess. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you guys later on or tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is later in the night. It's about 10 o'clock. I just wanted to up you, update you guys real quick on my progress in the arrangement by Robin Harding. I don't know why it's so dark, like the lighting on my camera is so dark because it's really not that dark in here. But anyway, that's the name of the chapter, but I won't show you anything anything more. It's called Double Vodka, Double Vodka Cranberry. Isn't that intriguing? So, so far I am loving this book. I don't want to put it down and I'm going to be really sad when I finish it. So I had to stop myself and leave the rest for tomorrow because I'm sure I will finish it tomorrow after work. Oh my god, I'm looking real rough. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. So another book that I have ready for me to read is this beauty right here. Runaway by Harlan Coben. Um, this is supposed to be really good. I've heard nothing but good things about it. And look at the sprayed edges. Oh my god. I had to get the UK edition of this because I'm just going to be honest. The um, American version of it, like the orange and black cover, is it's so ugly to me. I'm sorry, but it is. So, yeah. I can't wait to read that. I've heard nothing but good things about it. And let me show you a sneak peek of something else. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. What are you doing? So yeah, anyways, he wasn't expecting that, and that's the best time to uh, capture someone. <laughs> Well, I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow when I finish this book. Um, I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to finish it because it's really good and I don't want to put it down, but I have to because I got to go to bed soon because I work at 7.30. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you are, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just finished the arrangement by Robin Harding. It is now Saturday, April 13th, and I am pretty happy with this book. I gave it a four stars overall. Um, so I bumped it down a star really just because of the convenience of the plot. A lot of the things that happened in this book were just super convenient and I've just seen these things done before in thrillers um, although I did not guess the ending I I do think this was a, a really good book it was so entertaining I didn't want to put it down and I highly recommend it I did not guess the ending but just overall looking at it a lot of the things that happened and you know you kind of find out what's really going on at in the last chapter of the book um, I don't know it was just too convenient and uh, yeah I don't really know how to explain it um, the twist at the end I felt was pretty good if you are new to thrillers and this premise sounds interesting to you basically a sugar baby sugar daddy relationship gone wrong like in a thriller definitely recommend it even if you're not new to thrillers I still recommend it because the premise was really interesting and um, I've never heard of a thriller going over this topic before. It's kind of interesting to read about. So, yeah, overall, I really liked it, though. I had fun reading it, and it was super entertaining. I just wouldn't say that it was the best thriller I've ever read, but that's not a bad thing. So this is the fourth book that I have finished this month so far. Um, I'd say that's pretty good, you know. It's better than what I did last month. I only read three books last month. But there's still a few weeks left um, in April. And I want to get at least two more books read. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I have so many on my TBR. It's insane. And I'm sorry that this footage is so dark. It's not... My camera just doesn't pick up when it's, you know, 
like dimly lit, but it's not as dark as it is on the camera. Anyway, so yeah, I work today. I work from 7.30 to like 3.15. Normally I'm off at 2 on Saturdays, but it really all just depends because we have to, um, we can't start closing until all clients are out of the building, basically. Like, closing as far as cleaning, vacuuming, mopping, things like that. Um, so yeah, today was a really busy day, so, you know, we got out pretty late. But that's okay, because I didn't work yesterday, and that's a big part of my check, since I only work four days a week, but those four days are long shifts that make up 40 hours. So, yeah, but overall it was a good day today, and now I'm going to pick up probably... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to read next. I was I did start I invited her in by Adele Parks it's on my desk right now um yeah I'm I'm barely even in that so I might pick that up again I also really want to read Runaway by Harlan Coben I think I talked about this last night so I don't know what I'm gonna read next whatever I feel like maybe you know we'll dabble into that tonight um but yeah right now I'm probably gonna catch up on some YouTube videos and just relax and try to come down from this reading high of this book because it was really entertaining. I didn't want to put it down, seriously. Let's see. Like 340 pages. And also another interesting thing about this book is in the acknowledgments, um, Robin Harding talks about how she interviewed sugar babies to get, you know, more of an insight of what the lifestyle is like um, for this book. So she made like a sugar baby profile on a, a website and, you know, she interviewed some sugar babies. And I thought that was really cool. She really, you know, took it seriously and took that extra step to get the insight of what that lifestyle is like. So that's pretty cool. Um, So yeah, do you guys want to see my cat? Here he is. This is Bamboo. He's been on my channel a few times. He is my little buddy. He is about four years old now. <clears throat> and I have another cat named Aiden. And he's somewhere probably in the living room. But yeah. So um, I don't know if I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Or if I am going to add on more clips throughout the week. Um, whenever I start picking up a new book. I don't know. But Hope you guys enjoy my little vlogs. Um, I just like to update on what I'm reading and I like to go over what I read immediately after I read it since it's so fresh in my mind and I can really give my true emotions and thoughts right after I read it. Even though sometimes opinions change after you've sat on them for a while, like after you sleep on your opinions, you know, you might think something a little bit differently the next day. But I like hearing what people think right after they finish something because, you know, it's raw and it's it's fresh, if that makes sense. Anyway, so I'm going to go now and I hope you guys have a good day, night, wherever you are, and I will talk to you guys later.